Good morning. This is Ken coming to you with a brief look at Xubutu 13.0.4. That's an exciting system that I found that uh, I'm podcasting from them at this time. But uh, the Xubutu is a distrib- distribution based on Ubuntu. Unlike the parent, however, XUV2 uses a lightweight XFCE desktop environment and is optimized for low end machines. The distribution includes only GTK Plus applications where possible. You don't only have to run this on a low end machine, it can run on some higher end machines. This is a fast, stable system. I've been running it for a few days. It has not had any crashes. The updates comes regular, and it is super, super stable. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a quick rundown through it. Uh, I say I've been running it for a few days, so I've added some things to it, but you get the general idea. Okay, we'll start out with a web browser, web mail. Our uh, settings manager, where we can go in and change our appearances and anything we want to do in the system, add Bluetooth to it, and uh, we change any settings or any, or change the appearance any way we want to change it. As you can see, I have changed some on this. I I put it on a different desktop. I've changed the menu bar, title bar up here, uh, to suit my my uh, likings uh, at the bottom we do have a do- we do have a docket uh, I don't use it but a lot of people love it and it's, they included that in it so now we we'll go to our accessories we have archive manager cat our catfish file search calculator character map uh, file management mouse pad notes on board with on board is a uh, like a like the uh, touchscreen keyboard, uh, snapshot terminal, uh, virtual box, expert. Now let me explain. I did add virtual box, uh, snapshot, and I think that's about all I added to accessories. Uh, games with a, a couple of games. No, it's not much, but as oodles of uh, games in the YouTube Software Center, uh, you can add games to it to your likings. Uh, then we'll go to our graphics. The graphics. You'll go to Document Viewer, a GIF editor, um, a scan, a G thumb, and the rest I added in myself. Internet, I've got the Chromium browser, which I like to use simply because it has uh, translators in it, and and uh, I've got a lot of friends of different uh, nationalities that I that I talk with, and it makes it easier to translate. Dropbox, I added. That's where I keep my online files, uh, mostly just desktops and pictures, stuff like that. Now it does come with Fox Fire Web Browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Thunderbird Transition or Transmission, and XChat IRC for those of you that like to chat online or instant message a lot. Multimedia, hmm, we've got a lot of things in multimedia. Uh, a handbrake I use to Transcode my videos. Um, K3B, which is a uh, ISO burner or a image burner. Uh, it's the best I think that Linux may have. I like it. And uh, Pulse Audio Control. It comes standard with it. And record my desktop. I added VLC. Media Player and Expert Office. It comes with AdWord Directory, 
the document viewer, the LibreOffice I added mainly because that's what I'm used to and there's a lot of things in there I use. I've got an orange calendar and a global time system. I've got an iBus and a K3 again. Now I added the uh, synaptic package manager to this system. Uh, I like to do a lot of things with semantics. Uh, package manager something I'm used to and I prefer. However, not to say that it's any better than uh, you go to as far as the software selections and um, the installations. And, uh, task manager, UNet booting. UNet booting is also another one of those things I added you can get from the software center. It's uh, writing uh, bootable flash drives. It does a super good job. It's uh, the best I have used of any uh, that uh, I have tried. Uh, it's uh, a real good program. I would give that a try if I was uh, using a lot of flash drive, uh, bootable flash drives. VirtualBox, I added. I more or less just use VirtualBox for uh, the larger systems. Uh, anything I can get on a four gigabyte. Uh, Flash drive, I'll generally run off of a flash drive. My UB, uh, UB2 software center, which sometimes is a little slow to come up, but uh, there we go. It um, has any software that you could possibly need in it. We'll reduce that down for a second and we'll look at some more while that's loading. I've got a head to load running here at the time, so it slows down a couple of things. We got our help. We got our XUV2 website that uh, as you can see, it's pretty snappy little system, and um, tells y'all about XUV2. You can get your um, images, ISO images. Uh, this one would be looking toward XUV2 13.10, which will be the next release. And uh, I'm going to be excited to see what that is. I mean, it's, it's, um, how, what they added and, and how it operates. And if, it, if this one is any indication of the new one, the new one's going to be a super strong system. Uh, we got about XFCE, tells you all about it, the credits and what have you there. Let's see if we load it up. Okay. Our software center. Our software center. We have our accessories, our books, magazines, development tools, education, fonts, games, graphics, internet, office, science and engineering. Sound and video systems uh, and our themes and tweaks. This is a uh, really, really packed software system. And as I was saying earlier, you can get uh, you can get more games. And pretty explanatory about self-explanatory. And the best part about it is. The games are free. The, the games are at least most basically your software is, is free for your HUV2 system, uh, your Linux based system. And that's one of the things that makes uh, the system really great. Other than the stability, you don't have the registry you have to worry about uh, getting corrupted and crashing or, or having to defrag. All that stuff. It is, to me, a way better system than Windows will ever be. But anyway, it's to his own opinion. So that is my brief look of XUB2. And it was great for a 
beginner. Uh, there are the layout is, is neat, it's clean, and um, you have to, to like G part and all that. You would have to go into your system settings and you'll find it over in there. But this is a it's a good system. I would recommend it to a newbie. Or even if you're not a newbie, I would recommend it. Uh, like I say, I'm doing my stream casting and a whole lot of other things off of this system. I found the system and uh, I was having a problem with uh, my video equipment and all when your systems I was trying. I put this one on and I said, well, I'll give it a shot. I uh, plugged up everything, booted up, and here we went. I mean, it was ready to go. I didn't have a whole lot of problems with it. And uh, it was simple. And it's, as you can see now, it, it is uh, running pretty swift on this machine. So I would, I would give it a shot if you're really looking for a good, stable system that does the job, that looks good, that is customizable, I would give this a shot. I would put it up in the top five. I will uh, be back later with uh, another review. Um, also got some uh, vids going up on another project. But uh, I hope all of you a great day. Come, come back, check us out. Let us know what you think, and have a great day.